Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel, my goal is to motivate, inspire, and encourage you to live your best life to the fullest. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody that are tuning in for the first time. Welcome to The Virtuous Lady with Lolita. And um, for those that are returning, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. I trust that everyone is doing well. I love each and every one of you. And I just trust that you will get some pointers or ideas um, from this particular video. As we see, the spring is right around the corner and it's always good. Spring and fall are my most favorite times of the year. If you can leave it in the comment section below, what are your most favorite seasons, I should say, of the year? I like to, you know, just coming out of the snow, especially in Western New York, and seeing the, you know, what we do have a lot of snow, uh, and seeing the birds chirping, hearing the birds chirping, and seeing the trees and the um, perennials coming back to life, the crocuses, the daffodils, and everything coming back to life and just, you know, seeing the sunshine out as soon as you wake up. It's just nice because it's just a sign of new beginnings. So this particular video, I'm going to be showing you my tablescape for our dining room. We very seldom use it because I have not yet finished remodeling it. I um, haven't, you know, just kind of put things in place, but we will be using it for Easter this year. Um, this table is awful long and I never really kept the two um, extensions in but I am I leave it in now because I have the room for it so it's 98 inches long so this is a long table and it normally will sit um, eight people but I have it set up for six today and just to give you an idea a lot of the items that I have here are things that I either got most of it I had already and there are other things I got last year after Easter when they reopened the stores most of the stuff was like 80 or 90 percent off so it's a good time to go shopping after the holidays, after the seasons, because that's when they mark things usually 75% or more off. And you can really get good deals for the following year. Also, on this video, as I walk you through, um, I'm not going to be talking pretty much, but I'll kind of show you what I did. And at the end, I'll come and explain to you some of the, um, I'll explain to you at the end, but just so you can get a general idea of how we set it up. I did use three napkin folds and I'm asking you to stay tuned to the end. Give me your opinion on which one you like the best. Um, you know, which one you like the best with this setting and if it's any one in particular that you would use also for your own um, um, Easter setting. Also, I wanted to bring a lot of spring into it and try to keep it a little neutral and not a lot of glam, just a touch of it here or there but just more earthy, you know, and a little whimsical. So we're going to get started on this video, and I hope you enjoy. For those that have not subscribed, feel free to subscribe uh, for, and to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also, um, feel free to share and leave your comment. All right? So we're going to get started.
Okay, let me start by explaining. These chargers are pretty, they came from Michaels, and I got them, like I said, at the end of the year. And they have these particular chargers every year. They come in pink. Um, I know they had blue and they had white. And these are the ones that I chose to use last year. And in doing that, these are everyday plates. These I did get this year. They were really marked down in clearance at um, Home Goods, And I believe they were ended up being $2 a plate. So I did get six. Um, these eggs I already had from last year. And I like them, the speckled eggs. Um, I could not find a napkin um, that was kind of natural. I, I had some, but they had a gold trim to it. So what I did, I went to Joanne Fabrics. And I liked it because it had the writing that I could use more than just for Easter. I didn't want just the all Easter one. And I really love how it came out. Um, I just cut it 18 inches. Actually, I cut it um, 19 by 19. And when I fold the ends over, it ended up being 18 inches. And I made six of those as well. All right. Glasses, I couldn't find it. I wanted something with a little touch of blue. I know the Dollar Tree usually have them, but they did not have them this year. And I found these at Salvation Army, actually. I just wanted just a hint of blue to tie in with the blue napkins and also the blue chargers. The uh, flatware I did order, I'm going to leave a link for that below. It is a setting for eight, and I actually ordered these a while back for Valentine's because a lot of my stuff is still um, packed up. These are everyday glasses and our, our, well, everyday cups and saucers that we use. Now moving on to the middle, this um, runner I did get from Michaels as well. And what I like about it, it does have a little bling on the end. It says spot clean only, but it's not over overdone. I like the little bling on both ends of it. It looks almost like a, like a muslin. So it has a little of the nature with it. And um, with the trees, I got these at Steinmark before, the, before they closed. And what I did, I used these at Christmas time and I just wrapped the berry, the berry garland around it that still ties in perfect for now. And because it was a little low and I wanted to bring the height up, I just used a regular um, saucer. And what I did was just put a few eggs in it with our everyday short glasses and put Spanish moss around it um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. These glasses also I had from the Dollar Tree, and I just put floating candles in it. This is a little tray. Actually, I use them for crackers when um, I'm serving a buffet so people can help themselves. But because I had these speckled eggs and they fit so well, bringing um, some of the other um, pastel colors, because I wanted to keep it a little neutral, but just with a little bling. So this works out. I put one on each end of the table. Um, the candlesticks. I've had for years. These are like ceramic candlesticks. And I love these because they just tie in pretty much with anything. Okay, this tray here, I got this tray from Steinmark maybe about five years ago. And I like it because I can put balls in it. I can use it for fall. Um, I can pretty much use it for just about anything. Um, if I want to bring the gold out, I can use it for that. Also, these here came from the Dollar Tree. And what I did was just cut them. I think it was ended up being two, um, two, two, um, about two of them. And what I did was just cut them individual pieces. I didn't want to use the Spanish moss because um, it gets all over everywhere. And I didn't want to mess um, the little bunny up with all that on there. So this seemed like the most logical explanation. So it was the only, only way to do it, basically. It was only um, $2 for those. And the golden eggs, I don't know. I think I got these from Restore last year. They had a stick in them, and I just pulled them out. I guess they're mostly for decorating, like, floor arrangements or whatever. But it just fit well, and it fit the thing very well. Now, my little bunny, I got this from um, Michael's last year when they closed. I think I when they reopened back up, I got it for 90% off. And I like it because she has, like, a burlap, burlap burlap type dress on um, and you know it just fits so fitting so I just decided to lay her here I think I end up spending maybe about five dollars for her and basically this is my setting uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below concerning the napkins 
um, the um, napkin number one, number two, number three. Um, which one that you like the best? Of course, this is the third one. And they're very simple to do. So this is basically everything that we have here. So at this time, I, I trust that you got some pointers. I hope you enjoyed the video. And feel free to give me a thumbs up. Feel free to um, share and comment. And also subscribe if you are new to this channel. All right, so at this time, I'm saying bye for now. Be blessed, be safe, and enjoy your day.